Back at the New Balance Invitational, Bob Varsh along with Larry Rawson and Lewis Johnson with you. Ready now for the men's mile. The American record, 351.8, set 17 years ago tonight by Steve Scott. That mark not likely to be in jeopardy, but the meet record of 404.95, very much so. As you take a look down through the field of competitors. Good chance, I think, that that will go. Meet directors Mark Wetmore and Larry Barthlow have put together a very solid meet, and this, I think, event is one example of it. Richie Boulay comes in from California as having won the LA Invitational on 11 lap Ford track, ran his last 400 meters in under 55 seconds, and ran 358, a really a terrific race for him. Terrence Harrington, there you see, a three-time national champion, a member of our Olympic team in 1992. Jason Pyra, a huge high school star, ran 404, had a fine career at Once again, it's a two-group start. After two turns, the runners on the outside will break for the curve. On the back stretch, notice that yellow line in the track. They've got to stay outside that, which is at the outside edge of lane three. And a year ago, there was a controversy here when Ibrahim Aden, who was in the field tonight, ran a personal best on this track, but was judged to have run inside that yellow line at the beginning of the race and was disqualified. We got some pushing and shoving. Boulay among those involved. Aden right now is in fourth place, now third on the inside rail with the blue shorts and the white top. There's Jason Pyro wearing the sunglasses indoors. The pace setter, the runner in black out front, James Jirogi from Kenya. Aden runs in third, hoping for a measure of redemption tonight by winning this race outright after last year's disqualification. You see Boulay back in fourth place. Good solid pace, they went by and right on 60 seconds, dead on. Four minute mile pace, very comfortable for these athletes. The majority of the athletes in this race have run four minutes or faster for the mile for lifetime bests outdoors. And many have done it very recently, running 401, four flat, so forth. There's Pyra on the left behind the pace setter, Jirogi. In third is Odd, Boulay is fourth. Carl Perania is in fifth place, a Haverford College graduate whose dad was an Eastern Collegiate Champion. His dad, Steve, ran 407 while he was at Wesleyan. Baranya trains with Marcus O'Sullivan. If you were with us for our coverage of the Milrose Games a week ago, you saw O'Sullivan become only the third man in history after Steve Scott and John Walker of New Zealand to run 100 career sub four minute miles. That story still just makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. What an accomplishment for Marcus O'Sullivan. And you know, over the last couple of years, it got increasingly difficult for Marcus to find miles to run it because all the races in Europe are 1,500 meters. That did not count towards his mile total. He pointed towards that Milrose race for two years to try and engineer it so he had a shot to run a sub four minute mile in that race. Here's a man who ran a sub four minute mile just last week, actually two weeks ago now, taking the lead. And that is Richie Brule, who improved his best 1,500 meters last year by five seconds, and he's really coming on as one, as one of the bright young stars. He's just 24 years of age, the man in the lead on the American scene in distance running as a miler. On target for a four minute mile here. The pace setter is now gone. It's Boulay, Aden, Pyra now being passed by Neville Daly of Brown University and Ireland. And he in turn is passed by Piranha. A lot of position shuffling. 302 through three quarters of a mile. Let's see what this last 400 meters, 440 yards will be. Notice him glance over his shoulder. He wants to be sure where everybody is. This is Boulay in first, Aden in second, Piranha holding on for third. And a man at Brown University from Ireland is in fourth, Neville Davy. He ran four minutes almost exactly last week at Boston University track. There goes Aden with a lap to go. They slowed down slightly from the 800 meters to the three-quarter mark, and now Aden in full flight, a huge burst, quickly opens up three, four, five strides on Boulay, who in turn is running as hard as he can and drawing away from those behind, but Aden wow. is simply flying. Wow, 29 seconds, 200 meters with a lap to go. This one's gonna be much faster. Terrence Harrington into third place, past Piranha as they head for the line, but Ibrahim Aden gets that measure of redemption after last year's qualification unofficially 359 56 seconds plus for 
Ibrahim Aden from Somalia. His brother, uh, this talent has run in the family as Boulay kind of looks down and, and certainly will remember this sprint for a long time to come. But Ibrahim Aden's brother, Jama, was a 1984 Olympic semifinalist at 1500 meters for Somalia. Here we see the move, the rabbit moves off and Boulay takes over and tries to pick up the pace here as they went by at about 201 plus through the 880 yard mark of this race. And there was the other move that took place that proved decisive with one lap to go by Ibrahim Aden. You don't think Aden was thinking about last year's DQ? That picture says otherwise. Final results, Ibrahim Aden, a meet record 359.02. Richie Boulay second, Terrence Harrington third, Carl Piranha fourth, down to Lewis. All right, Ibrahim, congratulations on a meet record. You may not have known about that, but let's go back to last year. Do you remember what happened and, and talk about redemption when winning this year? Yeah, last year I, I ran personal best year and I got disqualified. This year I come here, I watch out the lines and I just have to I do what I have to do. Strategy seemed to be critical as it always is in the mile. Tell me about your last kick to uh, go ahead and take the lead and then the win. Well, I just want to make one move and I chose to do that at the bell because I know it was slow. I was pretty relaxed and pretty comfortable with the pace. So I just want to make a one move, and that's, that should be last at the bell. All right, great running tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much.